Hello everyone and welcome back for more Let's Play Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. In the last episode we got here to Yoshi's Island and basically what you saw at the beginning of this episode was a little, um, how you say, sped up montage of going through this area of Yoshi's Island and fighting Kamek. So basically I'm just going to explain Kamek's battle system first. Basically, how it goes is this. Basically, sometimes he, well, basically all the time, he splits himself into many versions of himself. And the only way to detect if it's a real him is if you hit items that they send to you back to the sender. But it'll also count as sending it back to the original Kamek, and that'll be the thing. So yeah. And now that we're back to the episode, this screen here is very pointless and I hate it and it's pointless. And I already said it's pointless, so what the hell. And hey, it's Baby Boozit! <laughs> Unbelievable, a stupid dead end! You mushroom munchers! Eat my cookies, will you? Fine, I'll eat the treasure instead. Not a not, not a good idea, Baby Bowser, but okay. <laughs> wow! Yum! Those shards were delicious! So, like I said, those shards were delicious, but okay. Mario and Luigi are gonna shake him. Hey! What are you- Lego! Yeah, I remember Lego. Does anyone else remember Lego? I'm pretty sure it's still a thing. Oof! Blurp. And here are the shrooms. And as per usual, they're here to fuck shit up. Like, what what does a shroob not do? They fuck shit up all the time. And hey look! It's you! And he's struggling to get up the cliff. Searching for more Yoshis to eat? Because if you are, you're not going to have a good time. You're going to have a very bad time indeed. And more language that it can't, um, translate. And that looks totally wrong on the top screen there. Looked like he was humping the place. Stop fucking panicking and run back down the cliff. And just... Well, looks like we're gonna have to go in after him. Or just wait until Baby Bowser gets shot out. More language that I can't translate. And hey look, it's Bowser's inside story before Bowser's inside story. I surmise we're in that... I surmise that we're inside that beast gastric chambers. And before Stuffwell says the next thing, Luigi handing those... those cookies over to the babies. I just find that fucking adorable. Young Bowser and his belly full of star shards should be in here somewhere as well. I suggest find him and get out of here with all speed. Alright, first things first, the babies 
are the ones that have to come up here first. To find a Yoshi pulling a chomp rock. I mean, pushing a chomp rock, but what's the difference these days? Um, actually, there is a massive difference. Get it right. If I can get this rolling, I should make a way out of here. Can't seem to budget on my own, though. Push! Push! It does seem likely that rolling that giant stone down the hole will expandulate the passage. There may be other Yoshis wandering around in here. I suggest we locate them. Yes, let's. And what is the point of a let's play? Moment of silence there for those who just died. Um, all HP restored and in here is a mushroom block, mushroom block, Mario block and a save album. It's the return of Yub and you're in his belly. Gross! Gather up the Yoshis and get out of here pronto. But first, before doing that, we've got... We've got the entire area to clear out of enemies. And hey, two new enemies in one go. We have here a Dry Bones and a Bully. Dry Bones, they just do what they normally do in a Mario game. They just throw bones. And if they jump, then the bone is going to go over you. If you attack a single Bully at a... At, like if... With a hammer or a jump and possibly with a green shell then they're going to get angry and you're not going to have a good time but we got ice flowers from that Mario block earlier and let's see what the ice flowers do to these guys also I forgot to mention ice flowers actually have a critical damage on bullies I'm not sure about dry bones but critical hits come from ice flowers in this area and my fingers aren't very good at pressing buttons but off screen I did a certain um, shopping trip and that is the two AXP badges for Mario and Luigi whenever we defeat enemies with attack items we get extra EXP which is always a good thing in an RPG like this otherwise you're gonna have a very bad time if you are under leveled so let's go and fight the rest of these bullies and hopefully no one levels up. Alright, after those two battles, no one leveled up. Surprisingly. Alright, the main objective of this part of Yu's belly is to find Yoshis. Now there is a yellow Yoshi right here. So hungry, need fruit. Yes, we need to feed a Yoshi. But first, let's see if there's any more Yoshis. There is one right over there. So let's see if we can spin jump over. And we can. I want out of here. But unfortunately, the only people who can hit that thing are the babies. So, just gonna fight the two bullies that's in this area. And see you then. All right, now, a good thing to know. Once you come up from this hole, it's always the leftmost on the screen right now, which is actually known as the middle. <laughs> Does anyone actually watch that show? I'm not sure. But now that Yoshi is freed, and if we were to fall down the rightmost hole, there would be a bean there, but I'm not getting all the beans just yet. Burp. Wow, that was a monster burp right there. But anyway, there's still a yellow Yoshi there. And it looks like these Yoshis don't really care about their yellow friend. And I almost fell down the hole again. No one wants to make that mistake twice. And now, there is a new enemy here. This is an RC Shrewber. And... Yeah. Guess what RC stands for? 
That's right, you guessed it. Remote control. And he is acting as a remote control to this, um, UFO thing. So let's just make this thing crash. Yay. Alright, let's see who's closer to leveling up and I'll, I'll be unfair to them. It looks like the ones who are closer to leveling up is Mario and Luigi. But since I leveled up off screen, or during that uh, little speed up thing. Also, look at this. If you dig underground, you on the top screen there is going to freak the hell out. It's like he ate something bad or something. Well, he kind of ate something bad, but it's bad to him. All right, so fighting the RC Shrewber, he has two attacks. One of them, if one antenna comes from his head, he's gonna summon one of those uh, little running robot things. If two come from the heads, then he's gonna send a UFO. And if I believe correctly, this guy is critical to ice flowers. And as I was saying that, of course, that happens. All right, we saved the light blue Yoshi. Yay! So now there is three Yoshis pushing the rock, but, like, there's, there's still a Yoshi here. I'm, I'm feeling sorry for the guy, but not sorry enough. Why am I going in here just now? I don't know. But, uh, I guess we'll fight this dry bones, and I'll explain this room to you. All right, this room is a puzzle. Now you see this combination here? Well, you're about to find out what exactly that is. There's a Luigi block over here. And this is explained with those two things over there. So I'm just gonna throw the babies over there and hit that. Really? I'm gonna hit that and hit that to match. And also, if you do something that modifies the interior of his belly, then he does the same thing as if you dig underneath. So basically, what this is all about is puzzle solving, yay! It's like those Professor Layton games are gonna come in handy again. You basically need to match the combination that's above the door and you're going to have to hit things multiple times in order to get the right combination. Now, combinations like these are pretty easy to find if the combinations are in the same room as the puzzle, which that's wrong. That's right. That is also right. That was right. That's right. And that is right. Everything's right! Ten Picarats for you. Professor Layton references, I know. That was scary. Yeah, I agree. Now there is just one more Yoshi to save, I do believe. I do believe I've got the answer, uh, Professor. And my phone just dinged. Why did my phone just ding? It was that annoying message from AE saying that I'd run out of data. It's not as if I got that ten times already. But there is just one more Yoshi to save. And we need to find a piece of fruit somewhere. Well, there's two more Yoshis to save. But I'm actually feeling kind of sorry for the guy. But still, not sorry enough. <laughs> We're going to put off the search for fruit. But that stump's being cleared out, so that's a landmark. And there's another RC Shrewber in here. More like asshole Shrewber, more like. So more like twice in the same sentence. And... You're out of range, good sir. So I'm gonna destroy you, and you're possibly gonna destroy me. And that red Yoshi... I should have saved him first, because red is one of my favorite colors. And another one of the attacks. So we've seen 
basically all the attacks of the RC Trooper, so there's no more point in actually showing this asshole off. That sounded dirty as fuck. So I believe, well I know that's the last uh, Yoshi that's in one of these rooms. And out in the main area is the last one, so there are six Yoshis who are trying to push a rock. Keep that in mind, because that's going to come in handy for the next area. So I'm going to find a piece of fruit for the poor Yoshi that is starving right now. And get into a battle with a bully almost. And that, my dear good sirs and madams, was the last stump before getting a piece of fruit. But I'm not quite going to do that just yet. Like, I'm gonna get the piece of fruit, obviously, but I'm not gonna give it to the Yoshi. He's gonna wait until the next episode of Mario and Luigi, Partners in Time. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and if you want to see more of my content, subscribe. It will be really appreciated if you share around this video, and if you guys want to see more, subscribe, yeah. I'll see you all in the next video.